Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on December 6, 2021 in Sri Ayapur, India. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, today we will continue with the compilation of the Sri Krishna Chaitanya book. Today's chapter is entitled Devotees Who Attain Perfection by One Only Perfection by executing only one of the nine processes of devotional service. Under the section, the process of devotional service, Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhilila 22.128 Tanmodhe sadhusanga adi pasti bhakta ange sarvasishto tatta sadhusanga nam kirtan bhagavad shravan Mathurai Bhash Sri Murtir Shaddhaya Shevan One should associate with devotees, chant the holy name of the Lord, hear Srimad Bhagavatam, recite at Mathura and worship the deity with faith and veneration. Recite at Mathura means recite in the holy place. Recite in the Mathura means recite in the holy places. That could be in Jagannath Puri. That could be in Jagannath Puri. Brajadam. In Brajadam. In Dwaraka. Dwaraka. Mayapur Navadvip Dam. In Mayapur Navadvip Dam. Or in a Iskand Temple. Or in a Iskon Temple. Or in a, a Temple with twelve Shaligam Shilas. Or near a temple with twelve Shaligrama Shilas. So the, the, these five things are recommended. So these five things are recommended. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 22.129 Tahadir Amshi Konushthan Prohave Krishna Premon Mod Krishna Premodai Shakol Sadhan Sreshta Ei Pancha Anga Krishna Prem Janmai Ei Pachero Alpa Sangha These five limbs of devotional service are the best of all. Even a slight performance of these five awakens love for Krishna, purport by His Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur points out that there are 35 items up to the point of observing special vows in the month of Kartika. To these 35 items, another four are added, namely marking tilaka on different parts of the body, writing the names of the Lord all over the body, accepting the deity's garland and accepting charanamrita. These four items are understood to be included by Kaviraj Goswami within Archan, worship the deity, worship of the deity. Although these items are not mentioned here, they are to be added to the previous 35 items. Thus the total number becomes 39. To these 39 should be added five others association with devotees, chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, reading Srimad Bhagavatam regularly, residing in Mathura, the birthplace of Krishna, and worshipping the deity with great respect and veneration. The 39 items plus these 5 come to a total of 44. If we add the previous 20 items to this 44, the total number becomes 64. The 5 items mentioned above Repeat previously mentioned items. In Bhakti Rasamrita, Sindhu Shla Rupa Goswami <coughs> states, The glorification of these five items, association with devotees, chanting the holy name and so on, is to make known 
the complete superiority of these five practices of devotional service. The 64 items of devotional service include all the activities of the body, mind and senses. Thus, the 64 items engage one in devotional service in all respects. How I executing these 64 items? So by executing these 64 items, one is fully engaged mind, body, senses. One is fully engaged through mind, body and senses in the service of Lord Krishna. In the service of Lord Krishna. Thus, these can quickly awaken love for Krishna. Thus, these can quickly awaken love for Krishna. Chaitanya Charita Neta Nadilila 22.130 Visheshatto Sri Vigra Puja Sri Nam Sankirtan O Sri Dham Basher Mahatma Shraddha Visheshataha Pritihi Sri Murte Rangri Sevanam Sevane With love and full faith one should worship the lotus feet of the deity. This verse and the following two verses are found in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1.2.90-92. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila 22.131 Sadhu Sangha O Bhagwa Sravan Kirtan Vidhi Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Ag Doi Nobhoi Akanobhoi Srimad Bhagavata Arthanam Aswado Rashikai Saha Sajati Ashaye Sikne Snigde Sadhu Sangha Svato One should taste the meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam in the association of pure devotees. And one should associate with the devotees who are more at once than oneself and who are endowed with a similar type of affection for the Lord. Purport by His Divine Grishla Prabhupada. The word Sajati Ya Shaye Snigde Sado Sangaha Swato Vare are very important. One should not associate with professional Bhagavatam reciters. A professional Bhagavatam reciter is one who is not in the disciplic succession or one who has no taste for Bhakti Yoga. Simply on the strength of grammatical knowledge and word jugglery, professional reciters maintain their bodies and their desires for sense gratification by reading Srimad Bhagavatam. One should also avoid those who are averse to, the, to, to Lord Vishnu and his devotees, those who, who are Mayavadis. Those who offend the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra, those who simply dress as Vaishnavas or so-called Goswamis, and those who make a business by selling Vedic mantras and reciting Srimad Bhagavatam to maintain their families. One should not try to understand Srimad Bhagavatam from such materialistic people, according to the Vedic injunction, Yasya Deve Para Bhaktihi. The Srimad Bhagavatam can be only can be recited only by one who has unflinching faith in the lotus feet of Krishna and his devotee, the spiritual master. One should try to understand Srimad Bhagavatam from the spiritual master. The Vedic injunction states, Bhaktya Bhagavatam Grahayam Na Buddhaya Na Cha Tikaya. One has to understand Srimad Bhagavatam through the process of devotional service and by hearing the recitation of a pure devotee. These are the injunctions of the Vedic literature, Shruti and Smriti. Those who are not in the disciplic succession and who are not pure devotees cannot understand the real mysterious objective of Srimad Bhagavatam and Srimad Bhagavad Gita. So, here... Yeah. The professional recitation of Srimad Bhagavatam is to maintain one's family. So here, the professional recitation of Srimad Bhagavatam, just to maintain one's family, is, uh, pro is uh, not recommended for listening. Is not recommended for listening. Rather, your devotees. Who lecture on the Srimad Bhagavatam? Rather, pure devotees who lectures on the Srimad Bhagavatam in love and devotion. In love and devotion should be heard and associated with. Should be heard and associated with. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila twenty two point hundred thirty two. 
বিশেষত শ্রী বিগ্রহ পূজা শ্রী নাম সংকীর্তন ও শ্রী ধামবাসের মাহাত্ম নাম সংকীর্তন শ্রীমান মথুরা মণ্ডলে স্থিতি ওয়ান শুড কংগ্রিগেশনালি চ্যাট দ্য হোলি নেম অফ দ্য লর্ড অ্যান্ড রিসাইড ইন বৃন্দাবন পেপট শ্রীল নরোত্তম দাস ঠাকুরের সং শ্রী গৌড় মণ্ডল ভূমি যে বা জানি চিন্তামণি তার হই ব্রজভূমি বাস ওয়ান হু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য ট্রান্সেন্ডেন্টাল নেচার অফ নবদ্বীপ অ্যান্ড ইটস সারাউন্ডিং এরিয়া ওয়ের শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু অ্যানেক্টেড হিজ পাস টাইমস রিসাইডস অলওয়েজ ইন বৃন্দাবন সিমিলারলি লিভিং ইন জগন্নাথপুরি ইজ অ্যাজ গুড অ্যাজ লিভিং ইন বৃন্দাবন দ্য কনক্লুশন ইজ দ্যাট নবদ্বীপ ধামা জগন্নাথপুরি ধামা অ্যান্ড বৃন্দাবন ধামা আর আইডেন্টিক্যাল হাওয়েভার ইফ ওয়ান গোস টু মথুরা মণ্ডল ভূমি ফর সেন্স গ্র্যাটিফিকেশন অর টু মেক লাইভলিহুড হি কমিটস অ্যান্ড অফেন্স অ্যান্ড ইজ কনডেম্ড হুয়েভার ডাস নট হুয়েভার ডাস ডাস মাস্ট বি পিনালাইজড ইন দ্য নেক্সট লাইফ বাই বিকামিং অ হক অর মঙ্কি ইন বৃন্দাবন ধাম আফটার টেকিং সাচ এ বডি দ্য অফেন্ডার ইজ লিবরেটেড ইন দ্য নেক্সট লাইফ শিলা ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী ঠাকুর রিমার্কস that residing in vrindavan with a view to enjoy sense gratification surely leads a so called devotee to a lower species and now and one gets for every devotional service one thousand times benefit in vrindavan one gets for every devotional service one thousand times benefits but also if one commits an offense also if one commits an offense in vrindavan in vrindavan a thousand times the effect of this offense they get a thousand times of the effect of the offense or siddha jagannath das baba ji so siddha jagannath das baba ji he uh, felt vrindavan was too heavy he felt vrindavan was too heavy so he came to not know the dam so he came to navadeep dam which is known as the adhyaya dam which is known as the audhyaya dam it's light is not different from vrindavan it is like it is not different from vrindavan one gets a thousand times a benefit for every devotional service offered so one gets a thousand time benefit for every devotional service offered but uh, the offenses are not considered so much but the offenses are not considered so much so this is a now the down is the such a abode of mercy navadeep dam is the special abode of mercy chaitanya charitamrita madhya lila 22.133 bhakti rasamrita sindhu 12236 duru ha bhuta veer ye smin shraddha dure stu panchake yatra svalpopi sambandhah sadhiyam bhav janmani The power of these five principles is very wonderful and difficult to understand. Even without faith in them, a person who offenseless, who's offenseless can awaken his dormant love of Krishna simply by being a little connected with them. Purport by Shri Prabhupada, this verse is also found in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1.2.238. I just like uh, visiting the Holy Dham. Just by visiting the Holy Dham, Hearing the holy name, hearing the holy name, or chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, or chanting the Hare Krishna Maha mantra, and engaging in any of these five activities, and engaging in any of these five activities, can awaken one's devotion and love for Krishna. Can awaken one's devotion and love for Krishna. চৈতন্য চরিতামৃত মধ্য লীলা ইহাদের প্রত্যেকের অনুশীলনে নৈরন্তর্য ফলে কৃষ্ণ প্রেম লাভ এক অঙ্গ সাধে কেহ সাধে বহু অঙ্গ নিষ্ঠা হইতে উপজয় প্রেমের তার অঙ্গ when one is firmly fixed in devotional service whether he is one or many sources of devotional service the waves of love of god hate will awaken purport by shri prabhupad The nine processes of devotional service are Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Ho Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmanivedanam See Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 22.121 of this chapter. One does even one of these 
nine processes of devotional service. If, if one does one of these nine processes of devotional service, even one, even one does one, then th they, that can awaken one's love for Krishna. That can awaken one's love for Krishna. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Lila 22.135 Navavidha Bhakti Madhya Kaharo Ek Ekti Ango Nusilane Kaharo Sarvanga Nusilane Shiddhi Va Bhagavad Prem Prapti Ek Ange Shiddhi Pailo Bahu Bhakta Gan Ambari Shadi Bhakti Bahu Ango Shadhan there are many devotees who execute only one of the nine processes of devotional service. Nonetheless, they get ultimate success. Devotees like Maharaj Ambarisha execute all nine items and they also get ultimate success. One, they do nine, one, more, or all. One, more, or all. Of the nine processes. Of the nine processes. And just by that, they can achieve ultimate success. Just by that, just by doing that, they can achieve ultimate success. Chaitanya Chaita Amrita Madhilila 22.136. Navaveda Bhakti Akekti Angano Shilanun Rato Bhakti Nam Padda Balite Tipanna Ob. Bharashi Bhakti Rasamita Shinder Agboy Dusha Teshoti Shri Vishnu Shravani Parikshit Abhavat Vaya Shaki Kirtane Prahlada Smarane Tadangri Bhajane Lakshmi Pritu Pujane Akusa Akru Rasta Vinandane Kapipati Dasi Sta Sakya Arjuna Sarva Sarvatma Niveda Nir Bali Rabhut Krishna Krishna Aptir Eshampara Maharaj Parikshit attained the highest perfection shelter at Lord Krishna's lotus feet simply by hearing about Lord Vishnu. Shukdev Goswami attained perfection simply by reciting Srimad Bhagavatam. Prahlada Maharaja attained perfection by remembering the Lord. The goddess of fortune attained perfection by massaging the transcendental lakes of Mahavishnu, Maharaja Prithu attained perfection by worshipping the deity and Akrura attained perfection by offering prayers unto the Lord. Vajrangaji Hanuman attained perfection by rendering service to Lord Ramachandra and Arjun attained perfection simply by being Krishna's friend. Bali Maharaj attained perfection by dedicating everything to the lotus feet of Krishna. Purport by his Divine Grishla Prabhupada, this verse appears in the Padya Valley 53 and the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1.2.265. Well, this demonstrates how even by practicing one process, this demonstrates how just being by practicing one process, of the nine. Of the nine. One can achieve all success in devotional service. One can achieve all success in devotional service. Purport by His Divine Rishila Prabhupada. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Leela 22.137-139 Ambarishir Sarva Indriya Dara Krishna Anushilam Srimad Bhagavate Noi Char Atharo Kuri Savai mai mana krishna padara vindayur vacham sivai kunta gunanu varnani karau harer mandira marjanadishu shutrim chakra yuta chakra chuta satkato dai mukunda linga laya darshani drishu tat britya gatras parashe anga sangamam Grihanam Chattat Parasaroja Saurub Saurabhe Srimad Tulasya Rasanam Tat Arpite Padau Hare Khetra Padanus Parshane Shiro Shikesha Padabinandane Kaman Chadase Netu Kama Kama Yaya Yato Tamashloka Janashraya Radihi 
Maharaj Ambarisha always engaged his mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. His words in describing the spiritual world and the Supreme Personality of Godhead, his hands in cleansing and washing the Lord's temple, his ears in hearing topics about Lord, the Supreme Lord, his eyes in seeing the deity of the deity of Lord Krishna in the temple, his body in embracing Vaishnavas or touching their lotus feet, his nostrils in smelling the aroma of the tulsi leaves offered to Lord Krishna's lotus feet, his tongue in tasting food offered to Krishna, his legs in going to the places of pilgrimage like Vrindavan and Mathura or to the Lord's temple, his head in touching the lotus feet of the Lord and offering him obeisances and his desires in serving the Lord faithfully. In this way, Maharaj Ambrish engaged his senses in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. As a result, he awakened his dormant loving propensity for the Lord's service. But what? This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam 9.4.18 to 20. His thoughts are always to be my process of Atman Nivedana. So, this shows Ambarish did the ninth process of Atman Nivedana. Ambrish Maharaj. Maharaj. Chaitanya Charita Mrita Mandalila 22.140. Akanto Saranagata Bhakta Krishna Batita Unno Kahara Nikad Baddha Nahin Kamtaji Krishna Bhaje Shastra Agamani Dev Rishi Pitri Digir if a person gives up all material desires and completely engages in the transcendental loving service of Krishna as enjoined in the revealed scripture, he is never indebted to the demigods, sages, or forefathers. Purport by Shla Prabhupada. After birth, every man is indebted in so many ways. He is indebted to the demigods for their supplying necessities like air, light, and water. When one takes advantage of the Vedic literatures, one becomes indebted to great sages like Vyasadeva, Narada, Devala, and Ashita. When one takes birth in a particular family, he becomes indebted to his forefathers. We are even indebted to common living entities like cows from whom we take milk. Because we accept service from so many animals, we become indebted. However, if one is completely engaged in the Lord's devotional service, he is absolved of all depths. This is confirmed in the following verse quoted from Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.41. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Leela 22.141. Vaidi Bhakta Dhikari Pancha Jogadi Karmakande Onavashyagata. Srimad Bhagavate Agaro Pach Akshalish. Devarishi Bhutatra Niranam Pitranam. Na kinkaro nayam rinicharajan Sarvatmanaya sharanam sharanyam Gato mukundam patihritya kratam One who have given up all material duties and taken full shelter at the lotus feet of Mukunda, who gives shelter to all, is not indebted to the demigods, great sages, ordinary living beings, relatives, friends. Mankind or even his forefathers who have passed away, purport by his divine grace, Shri Prabhupada. It is said, Adhyapanam Brahma Yaknyaya Pitru Yaknyastu Tarpanam Homa Daivo Balir Bhauto Nuryaknu Titi puja, Poojanam. By offering ob oblations with ghee, one satisfies the demigods. By studying the Vedas, one performs Brahma Yaknya which satisfies the great sages. Offering libations of water before one's forefather is called Pitriyajna. By offering tribute, one performs Bhutayajna. By properly receiving guests, one performs Nuryajna. These are the five yajnas that liquidate the five kinds of indebtedness, indebtedness to the demigod, great sages, forefathers, living entities and common men. 
Therefore, one has to perform these five kinds of yajna. But when one takes the Sankirtan yajna, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, one does not have to perform any other yajna. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Narad Muni made a statement about the systematic performance of Bhagavad Dharma in connection with statements previously made by the Navayogin, nine Yogendras before Maharaj Nimi. The sage Karabhajana Rishi explained the four incarnations of the four yugas at the end. In this verse, Chaitanya Charitamrita 22.141, he explained the position of Krishna's pure devotee and how he is absolved of all deaths. So, since ultimately everyone is indebted to the Supreme Lord, since ultimately everyone is indebted to the Supreme Lord, ever my pure devotional service to the Supreme Person of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna, one is absolved of all of the debts. Thereby performing pure devotional service for the Supreme Personality of Lord Krishna, one is absorbed, absorbed from all debts. Although, debts. one still receives guests in the house and does the other things. Although one still receives guests in the house and does the other thing. Uh, in a Krishna conscious way. In a Krishna conscious way. All right, Krishna Prasadam and uh, reading the Srimad Bhagavatam. Offering Krishna. Sarah. Offering Krishna Prasadam and reading Srimad Bhagavatam, etc. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhilila 22.142. Vaishnav kakhano papi nahin. Athava papi kakhano vaishnav nahin. Vidhi dharma chari bhaje krishne ra charan. Nishiddha papa charetar kohuna he mon. Although the pure devotee does not follow all the regulatory principles of Varnashrama, he worships the lotus feet of Krishna. Therefore, he naturally has no tendency to commit sin. For part, the Varnashrama institution is planned in such a way that one will not commit sinful activities. Material existence continues due to sinful activity. When one acts sinfully in this life, he gets a suitable body for the next life. When one again acts sinfully, he takes another material body. In this way, one is continuously under the influence of material nature. Purusha prakriti stohi bhumte prakriti jan guna karanam guna sangosya satasasat yoni janmasu. The living entity in the in material nature thus follows the ways of life, enjoying the three modes of material nature. This is due to his association with that material nature. Thus he meets with good and evil among various species. Bhagavad Gita 13.22 Due to our association with the modes of material nature, we get different bodies, good and bad. One cannot be liberated from the cycle of birth and death known as transmigration of the soul unless one is completely free from all sinful activities. The best process therefore is to take Krishna consciousness. One cannot take to Krishna consciousness without being freed from all sinful activities. Naturally, one who is very serious about Krishna consciousness is freed from all sinful activity. Consequently, a devotee is never inclined to commit sins. One is pressured by the law or obligation to give up sinful activity. One cannot do so. However, if one takes to Krishna consciousness, he can very easily give up all sinful activity. This is confirmed herein. By engaging in devotional service to Lord Krishna, so by engaging in devotional service to Lord Krishna, one naturally avoids all sinful activities. One naturally avoids all sinful activities. If one does not do devotional service, if one does not do devotional service, then naturally they get entangled in sinful activities. Then naturally they get entangled in sinful activities. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhulila 22.143 Doivat Shadokir Paap Hoi Jau 
কৃষ্ণ কৃপায় তাহার সম্পূর্ণ পাপ নিবৃত্তি অজ্ঞা নেবা হয় যদি পাপ উপস্থিত কৃষ্ণ তারে শুদ্ধ করে না করায় প্রায়শ্চিতিভার্ভিটি কৃষ্ণ পিউরিফাইস হিম ই ডাজ নট হ্যাভ টু আন্ডার গো রেগুলেটিভ ফর্ম অফ অ্যাটোনমেন্ট পার্ট কৃষ্ণ পিউরিফাইস ফ্রম উইদ ইন এস দ্য চাইতে গুরু দ্য স্পিরিচুয়াল মাস্টার উইদ ইন দ্য হার্ট দিস ইজ ডিসক্রাইব ইন দ্য ফলোইং ওয়ার্স ফ্রম শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম চৈতন্য চরিতামৃত মধ্যে লীলা অন্তর্জামী চৈত গুরুরূপে পাপ শোধন শ্রীমদ ভাগবতে এগারো পাঁচ আত্রিশ স্বপাদমূলম বজত প্রিয়ান্যপাবরি পরেশ উটিফিকি Avanas protected by Lord Krishna. So this shows how a devotee is protected by Lord Krishna. By taking shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. By taking shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. He gets purified automatically. He gets purified automatically. Therefore we shall always uh, think good of a devotee even though they accidentally do some therefore we should always think good of a devotee even though accidentally they do some abominable thing chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 22.145 mono dharma gyan o vairagya kokhono atma dharma bhaktir anga nahi bhaktir anugami putra day matra gyan vairagya adi ভক্তির কভনাহে অঙ্গ অহিংস নিয়মাদি বলে কৃষ্ণ ভক্ত সঙ্গ স্পেকুলেটিভ নলেজ রিনাউন্সিয়েশন ইজ নট এসেনশিয়াল ফর ডিভোশনাল সার্ভিস ইন্ডিড গুড কোয়ালিটি সাচ এস নন ভায়োলেন্স এন্ড কন্ট্রোল অফ দ্য মাইন্ড এন্ড সেন্সেস অটোমেটিকলি এ কোম্পানি দ্য ডিভোটি অফ লর্ড কৃষ্ণ Purport by Śrīla Prabhupāda, sometimes a neophyte devotee and or ordinary person thinks highly of speculative knowledge, austerity, finances and renunciation, thinking them the only path for advancement in devotional service. Actually, this is not a fact. The path of knowledge, mystic yoga and renunciation has nothing to do with the pure soul. When one is temporarily in the material world, such processes may help a little. but they are not necessary for a pure devotee of krishna in the material world such activities and in material enjoyment are merging into the effulgence of the supreme they have nothing to do with the eter- eternal loving service of the lord if one abandons speculative knowledge and simply engages in devotional service he has attained his perfection the devotee has no need for speculative knowledge pious activity or mystic yoga all these are automatically present when one renders the lord transcendental loving service this shows how the devotional service is so reliant so this shows how the de- devotional service is so self reliant self real self reliant i don't need any other process one doesn't need any other process the devotional service is complete in itself spirit devotional service is complete in itself and continues all other processes and continues with all other processes chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 22.144 bhakti vatito gyan vairagye shreyala bhayna shrimad bhagavate 11 kori 31 তাস্মাৎ মদ্ভক্তি 
யோகினோ வை மதாத்மனக ந ஜானம் ந ச வைராகியம் பிராயஸ்ரேயோ பவேதிக for one who is fully engaged in my devotional service whose mind is fixed on me in bhakti yoga the path of speculative knowledge and dry renunciation is not very beneficial purport by his divine grace shri prabhupad the path of devotional service is always independent of other activity the path of speculative knowledge and mystic yoga may be little beneficial in the beginning but it cannot be considered path of devotional service This verse, Srimad Bhagavatam 11.20.31, was spoken by Lord Krishna when he was speaking to Uddhava before his departure from this material world. These are important instructions given directly by Lord Krishna. Sri Uddhava asked the Lord about two kinds of instructions given in the Vedas. One instruction is called Pravritti Marga and the other is called nivritti marga these are directions for enjoying the material world according to the regulative principles and then giving up the material world for higher spiritual understanding sometimes one does not know whether to practice speculative knowledge and mystic yoga for advancement in spiritual knowledge krishna explains to uddhava that the mechanical process of speculative knowledge and yoga is not necessary for advancing in devotional service devotional service is completely spiritual it has nothing to do with material thing it is awakened by hearing and chanting in the association of devotees because devotional service is always transcendental it has nothing to do with material activity so i gave them in the nine processes of devotional service so engaging in the nine processes of devotional service is transcendental is transcendental and by that alone we can be completely transcendental by that although we can be completely transcendental to the different material processes to the different material pro- processes so we don't need any other process so we don't need any other process you don't need psychical knowledge or yoga we don't need speculative knowledge or mystic yoga or material activities or material activities oh the whole sorts is in the random devotional service is independent chaitanya charita amrita madhya lila 22.147 shuddha bhakta onnake udveg janna skanda vachan ete nahi adbhuta vyada tava himsadayo gunah hari bhakta pravritta ye nateshu paratapinah o hunter good qualities like non violence which you have developed are not very astonishing for those who are engaged in the lord's devotional service are never inclined to give pain to others because of envy purport by shila prabhupad this is a quotation from skanda puran it was spoken by narad muni to the hunter mrigari reform mrigari was mrigari half killing animals mrigari was half killing animals he enjoyed their suffering he enjoyed their suffering for what he given enlightenment by Narada Muni. When he was given enlightenment by Narad Muni, he started to chant Hare Krishna. He started to chant Hare Krishna. Before the tulsi plant. Before the tulsi plant. He developed all the good qualities. He developed all the good qualities. Like non-violence. Like non-violence. By the mercy of his spiritual master Narad Muni. By the mercy of his spiritual master Narad Muni. Thus ends the chapter entitled "Devotees Who, who Attain Perfection by Executing Only One of the Nine Processes of Devotional Service." Under the section "The Process of Devotional Service." Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.